Hey guys, Quentin here from My Name is Yu-Gi-Oh! Coming at you with another deck profile. Um, today I'm going to be doing my Macro Monarch deck profile. Well, I've been getting a lot of requests to uh, upload my updated version of it, so we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, uh, thumbs up for my awesome mat here. It's the Evil Swarms. They're all baby Evil Swarms. Ophion, Orboros, and uh, Bahamut. They're all babies and they're all cuddling. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I play three Caius, uh, the probably the best Monarch banished stuff. Uh, triple Ryza. This card is amazing. You can um, essentially you can get rid of any of your opponent's like problem monsters or any back row, and uh, you can even return him back to your hand and uh, recycle him. So like so, uh, you could tribute summon for him, and then bring it. You could even bring him back or if you have another monarch on the field you can do that and bring this one back to recycle another one so uh, yeah it's pretty good um, Toothless Dalos or yeah uh, just to uh, get rid of your opponent's hand um, and if you hit like a big car like Tragodia with a lot of stars it burns for a hundred uh, 100 points for each uh, star it has and uh, if there's no cards on the field, you can easily just ditch their last card of their hand, and they'll have to rely on top decking for the rest of the game. So, uh, one Dark Dust Spirit is blows up all face-up monsters besides this one, and then at the end of the turn that this card was tribute summon, you can return it back to your hand, so you can just keep doing it over and over again if you get a loop. Um, Triple DD Survivor. This is the reason why the deck works. Um, when this card is when this face-up card is banished, you can return it at the end phase. And same thing with DD Scout Plane. Uh, if this card is banished, period, you return it at the end phase in face-up attack mode. These are... This is for your loop, for your tributing loop. Um, you want to keep these cards getting banished. And for those uh, situations that you don't have anything on the field and you need to uh, tribute summon, you got double uh, photon strike bouncer you could uh, special summon him and then tribute him he's always good to have just in case you don't draw into your, like macros Mo or macros cosmos or your d fishers to get these guys banished and then i play two dd sprite this card is amazing it's a level one tuner and you can special summon this card by banishing one monster in your side of the field so and it's a tuner so essentially you can get out some uh, synchro monsters but it's really good because if you have this on the field or this on the field you can banish this normal summon or the special summon this you can put in defense when he's got a really bad attack and defense and uh, at the end phase of his effect or at the next standby phase his effect is that you can return this monster so even if it's not a DD uh, D survivor D scout plane if you have him on the field you can banish him Standby phase, he comes back, and uh, either and, and with these cards, if you banish them, they come back at the end phase, so you don't have to wait too much longer to get them back, which is pretty good. And uh, but yeah, this is a pretty good play here. Say you you can get out first turn Catastrophe with this. You can normal summon him, or sorry about that. You get special summon and normal summon him, then banish him, special that, go into Catastrophe. Next turn he comes back, and if you have a uh, Macros Cosmos on the field, you can get your loop going with this guy and have a Catastrophe to sit on. So uh, yeah, those are those cards there. And uh, let me play Triple Battle Fader. This card is crucial to the deck. There's a lot of time. This deck's pretty slow. There's a lot of times you won't have a lot of monsters in the field or any monsters at all. Now going to the spells. Play triple D Fisher. The reason why the deck works is banishing your monsters. Uh, triple Soul Exchange. You're not always going to have anything to tribute, and uh, it's really good to get over your opponent's monsters. You can tribute your Draco Sack, your opponent's Draco Sack, or any of their problem monsters, any Axes, anything. You can get rid of it. Uh, two Gold Sark to get out your DD Scout Plane. You just search him, banish him, end phase, he comes back. And then I play one Dark Hole. This is really good with Macros Cosmos on the field. 
if you have your DD scout planes and your DD survivors on the field, and if your opponent has monsters, you can dark coal and then plus off of it. Uh, one alert darkness, draw power, and it works with DD scout plane. If you banish DD scout plane, he'll come back. Plus your two cards. Uh, one enemy controller. If you have uh, Macros Cosmos on the field, or if you have D Fisher on the field, you contribute either this card or you contribute your DD Scout or your DD Survivor, and then take control of their monster end phase. Your DD Scout or DD Survivor will come back. Uh, one reinforcement of the army. You can search out your DD Survivors, or you can go into a Photon Thrasher play and Triple Summon Breaker. This deck does not special summon a lot at all. And it hardly summons in the first place. Like you can you get out your tribute summons. That's pretty much what you want. Um, what this card does is, if the turn player successfully summons three monsters, or like in total, it goes instantly to the end phase. So it's good against uh, dragon rulers or e dragons. It's good against any rescue rabbit deck. Anything that special summons a lot, well, this will pretty much shut them down so they can't attack. This is pretty much. Macro Monarch Sword of Revealing Light, because uh, if they can't, if they don't special summon their big monsters, they're all they're going to special normal summon is their tiny, tiny little hitters, and uh, you can easily get over those in this deck. And then for my trap lineup, Triple Macros Cosmos, it's self-explanatory. Uh, one Torrential, again, it works with uh, Macros Cosmos and D Fisher for your side of the field and banishes your opponent's monsters. If it, this is on the field, you usually can plus off of it. I only play one though. And one start at the road because you are always setting cards in this deck and you always have face up continuous trap cards and even helps with your monsters, so that is the main deck, that is forty one cards. Now we'll go on to the extra deck. This uh this deck has a lot of uh variety of what you can do in the extra deck, so uh it's pretty good. You have one photon strike bouncer. This and this is like really good lock play. Like it really shuts down your opponent. And even Macros Cosmos on the field, it just shuts them down almost completely. So, Photon Strike Bouncer. Uh, one Ptolemy, you can recycle stuff from your graveyard, or uh, you can discard, or you could um, return a card on your opponent's side of the field to the hand, or any card on your side of the field to the hand. Exa Beetle, uh, you never know when you're going to need it. I do go into it every now and then. Uh, Force Focus, this is actually pretty good against E Dragons, surprisingly. Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, uh, Popple Operative, Black Ship, um, Utopia, Dweller, um, Dijin, those are level 4s. And for rank 2, we have a Gachi Gachi. There's a lot of plays where, uh, actually recently at Locals, I had, I didn't have them in my extra deck, and I had 2 DD Scout planes on the field, and they just kept coming back and getting banished. And uh, he got a big monster on the field, and if I would have went and gotten to him, I could have boosted up one of my monarchs and got over it, but I didn't have him in my extra deck, so. And then for the synchros, we have a photon, or formula synchron because it is possible to get him out. Uh, one cataster, this that I always, it's really easy to get him out. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, it's easy to get him out. And a Stardust Dragon, you can go into a Formula Sync Arm play, and with a uh, level 6, get them out. And uh, for your Starlight Road, you can get them out. So that's the extra deck, and now we'll move on to the side deck. I side uh, one Photon Thrasher, just an extra one. Two Banisher of the Light, this card is pretty good. You can actually uh, summon him and attack, banish him with DD Sprite. And then uh, and at the standby phase, you can bring him back in defense. He's got a 2,000 defense, so it's kind of a problem for a lot of people to get over. Uh, an extra Golden Sark. Uh, two Swords of Revealing Light, because this deck is kind of slow, and you want to be able to keep yourself from getting attacked over and over again. Triple Mystical Face Typhoon. I don't play him. I don't even play heavy. But uh, if your opponent gets out Imperial Iron Wall, that shuts, <laughs> shuts down this deck, so you need to get a, have an answer to get rid of it. Um, two Deck Devi for uh, your Caius and any of your, a lot of your dark extra deck cards. Two Mind Drains for Dragons. 
two royal decree for chain burn and to get rid of imperial iron wall so that's it let me know what you think um, actually been playing this deck quite a while now and it works really good it even even nowadays it still works pretty well so uh, let me know what you think of it and thanks for watching guys make sure you guys like rate and subscribe it really helps out the channel